Oh. Arch, I noticed they uh, mentioned your club in this article on discrimination. I don't want to say nothing about that article whatsoever. Okay. I'll say this. That's all a pack of lies. It is? All right. Tell me the name of one black member of the Kings of Queens. Being a private club, I ain't saying nothing about our club whatsoever. Okay. I'll say this. <laughs> if we ain't got a black member over there, and I ain't admitting that we ain't got a black member over there, but if we ain't got a black member over there, buddy, there's only one very good and very simple reason. What's that? The entire membership is white. <laughs> And you do discriminate, Arch. Uh, Arch, your, your club's gonna be in big financial trouble. How? If your club practices discrimination, you're not gonna get a tax break on your property taxes for the clubhouse. Well, that ain't true. It's true. Ah, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Shut up. Schedule. If Ruby takes the 930 bus, she ain't gonna get home until after. I know them buses late at night. You can never depend on it. Why, well, I remember once when I come home from Woodbine, New Jersey, I didn't get home until one in the morning. I don't interrupt. And don't start no stories that don't end in five sentences. Now, back to you. You take the Attorney General of the United States. The Attorney General of the United States got a right to belong to a club that don't have no Jews and no blacks. Then Archie Bunker's got that right. Arch, if you're gonna take your lead from the Attorney General, why don't you do what he did? Yeah, what did he do? He quit his club. Yeah, all right, then I'll quit my club. Good. When? When I make me Attorney General. <laughs> Arch, don't you care anything about the Constitution of the United States? Don't hit me with that comic crapola. <laughs> the Constitution! Ain't got nothing to do with Americanism or American. <laughs> Where a man's got the right to join any club he pleases with all the men he likes, and all the men he likes got a right to keep out all the men they don't like. You have that right. But liking a man, why, why should that have anything to do with whether a man is black, a Jew, or a Puerto Rican? That's discrimination. No, it ain't. It's just being particular. <laughs> the paper is right. The paper's trying to burn us for a lot of things we don't do. I don't see a line in that paper giving us credit for any of the good things we do, like keeping out the Catholics. <laughs> practice discrimination. Ah, shut up. You're always shooting off your face about neat things you don't know nothing about. Why don't you come down with me to my club and see what goes on there with your own two eyes? We got all kinds of guys down there. We got tall guys, short guys, fat guys, skinny guys. Guys with no hair, too much hair, no teeth, too much teeth. We got a one-eyed guy. We got a guy down there we kind of suspected uh, he's a midget. <laughs> Well, because he's only four foot tall. <laughs> but nobody blames him for that. Nobody's mean. To, we're all fair there. I tell you what we do. In the men's room, we built up a little box there. <laughs> so the man can stand up on that and be comfortable. <laughs> he can feel that he's got an equal shot at it, you know? <laughs> nobody says nothing against that. Maybe we laugh a little, but never a harsh word. <laughs> Gee, would you get that? I gotta yes, look yes, at the pie. Yes. I'll get that. Geez, all I got to say to you is I wish I had some of the time back on my life that I have wasted trying to straighten out your head. I think it'll come for about nine years. I've only known you seven. Well, I count the first two double. <laughs> I rounded oh, up the guys.